The team of wildlife officers got a news about a distressed elephant who was seen limping in the deep forest with a severe wound in his front leg. The officers are preparing sedative drugs in advance. and now walking into the thick forest in search of ailing elephants. Soon, they could locate the elephant, and the veterinary surgeon darted the elephant, taking the correct aim. When the anesthetic drug filled dart pricks on his body, the elephant was a bit agitated and ventured out of the forest, seemingly checking for officers. The medicine gets to work within a few minutes. It takes full effect, immobilizing the animal in sedative standing position. Then, the team cautiously approached the elephants, and the veterinarian conducted a thorough examination of its condition. A puncture wound was observed in the lower region of the right front limb, suggesting possible injury from a trap gun. Adding to the distress, a malignant abscess was identified in the tail area. The exact cause of the tail abscess remains unknown. The veterinarian started the treatment process by attending the abscess first. First, he administered some antibiotics and painkillers to the region via intramuscular injection. These antibiotics would be helpful in eliminating the infection which has caused the formation of abscess. Painkillers were administered to alleviate the excruciating pain. After administering necessary injectable, they began to clean the abscess thoroughly. Incising and draining the abscess is the standard method used for this. When the pus was drained out, they cleaned the abscess using sterile cotton swab and disinfecting solution. After a thorough cleaning, povidone iodine was applied, which is an antibacterial wound dressing to promote healing. Then after, they attend to the puncturing wound in the front leg. The wound seemed to have infected a bit. The injured area was thoroughly flushed with saline solution. Then the dead and infected tissues were removed using cotton swabs and forceps. The officer who was kneeling under the elephant belly to treat the front leg is risking his life to help this poor giant. His bravery and dedication should be really appreciated. The elephant is not fully sedated. If the sedation is worn off before the estimated time, the officer may find himself in a life-threatening situation. The sheer force of a single blow from such a colossal elephant has the potential to be fatal for a human. Once the wound was cleaned, povidone iodine solution was applied. Povidone iodine solution was taken into a syringe and stuffed into the wound. 
This will help the medicine get everywhere in the wound and thereby bring an improvement faster. After applying necessary medicines, the wounded area and the tail area with abscess were externally smeared with bluish antiseptic fly repellent spray. They took every possible actions to save the life of this innocent giant. After all, the revival drug was injected to a leg muscle. This elephant is of colossal size, and the officers are not sufficiently tall to access the ear vein for the administration of the revival drug, as is customary in other operations. This magnificent creature has suffered a lot because of this injury. These are deliberate injuries done to wild animals as a result of human-elephant conflict. For some luck, this elephant was spotted by villagers as one that needs help. If not, the plight of this elephant would have been more miserable. If it wasn't such a large animal, this beautiful elephant would have been taken to a rehabilitation center for treatment. But, unfortunately, with the available resources, it is only possible to treat him here, in the forest. The treatment done for just now is sufficient for about a week. Follow-up treatment will continue until he can pull through by himself. The wildlife team is continuing their hard work to save the life of this enormous elephant.